In this video, I will showcase a highly effective video converter known as UniConverter. This software empowers you to accomplish a variety of tasks, including video conversion, file size compression, and minor editing adjustments. If you're prepared, let's explore the capabilities of UniConverter. Let's begin. As a video editor, I often encounter the question of how to swiftly convert video clips from one file format to another. An efficient approach to this is utilizing standalone software like UniConverter. It has become my preferred application for video conversion or converting video clips to alternate formats. Upon launching UniConverter, you'll be greeted by the homepage featuring the three primary tools at the top, Converter, Downloader, and Compressor. Let's start with the Converter. I also wanted to note that if you'd like to give this a try for free, you can begin a complimentary trial. You can find the link in the video description if you'd like to explore UniConverter. Within the Converter, you'll find a section where you can drag and drop your video clip, or you can select the Add button in the top left to include a file. I'm going to convert this particular video file. It's currently in MP4 format, but perhaps I'd prefer an MOV version of it. Maybe I'm re-editing this video and need a proxy to facilitate smoother editing in Premiere Pro. To accomplish this, I would click Load, which will load it up. The left side displays the current settings, including MP4, the resolution, the file size, and the duration. Plus, there's an arrow in the middle. And on the right side, you can observe the conversion format. In this example, that the MOV file is 13 megabytes, which means it's getting larger. And you can actually choose your preferred resolution and frame size. If you wanted to make changes, you can click on the gear settings icon. This will bring up a window. You might see it under the video tab. Under the video tab, there are different file formats to choose from, such as MOV, MP4, HEVC, MOV or MKV. If you're on a PC or need to convert WMV files, there's an option for that as well. There are also different phone options, like 3GP. If you need to convert to audio, there's the Audio tab. Maybe you want to convert to a WAV file, and there's an option for that as well. Before we proceed with the conversion, I'd like to point out that below, you'll find the destination for the new file. In this instance, I have it set to my videos folder, but you have the option to modify this by selecting Other from the drop-down menu to choose a different file destination. Once you've set the file location, you can click Start All at the lower right or click Convert next to each individual file. You can also load multiple files simultaneously. Now, I'll proceed to click Convert, and you'll notice how swiftly and effortlessly it converts from an MP4 to a MOV file in just a few seconds. Another common task for video editors is to compress video files to reduce the file size, making them more manageable to work with. To accomplish this, we can utilize the Compressor tab. When we head over to the Compressor tab, just like with the other options, there's the option to click and drag a file into the interface or select a file from the top left corner, which happened to be 237 megabytes in size. I wanted to compress it to save some file space. To do that, I clicked Upload and added it. Similar to the Converter tab, the left side displayed the file type, resolution, duration, and file size, which is 237 megabytes. On the right side, it showed the estimated compressed file size to be between 87 megabytes and 175 megabytes. If I needed to make adjustments, I could click on the Settings button and the option would appear. It is possible to customize the compression based on the video clip. For instance, dragging the slider to the left would result in a heavily compressed smaller file but it was recommended to keep it within the suggested range to maintain quality. Once satisfied with the settings, I clicked OK. At the bottom left, it displayed the output location. In my case, it was the Downloads folder. Clicking Compress at the top right initiated the process. After it was done, I went back to my videos and found the converted file, which was noticeably smaller. If we go to our videos, you can see it's even low, and the video quality is till good, whereas the original is 237. Now, another common thing I do all the time as a video editor is, maybe I have a clip, 
But I just want to trim it. Maybe I just want to do a simple task. That's where the Video Editor tab comes in handy. You can see that you can do a lot of different basic video editing adjustments, such as trimming clips and cropping. So in this example, I'm going to trim a clip. So if we click Trim, we can choose the video that we want to trim. I will just use this clip right here, and I want to trim it. For instance, I don't want this ending instead of 8 seconds. So I'm going to click Upload, and you'll notice a basic timeline window pop up here. What we can do is click Pause to pause the video. We can go out forward in time to the spot that we want to trim the clip to, maybe around here. Once we're there, we can click this Cut button right here, and this cuts the clip in half. We can click the clip on the left and click the trash can to remove it. And now, we have just a 5 second clip here if we click play. Once we're good with our edit, what we can do is just click OK. And once again, similar to the other controls, it lists the source on the left and the output on the right. Now you will notice that it is a MP4. So we can change that by going into our settings, and we can do MKV. Once we're done, we can click Save, and this will save the video to your device. Additionally, there are other options worth highlighting. There is a screen recorder available for capturing parts of the screen. For those working with DVDs, there is also a DVD burner. Furthermore, there are some other useful tools available. Under the Tools section, there is an AI lab with an AI video enhancer for improving low resolution, noisy footage, making it cleaner and crisper. There is also an AI image enhancer for enhancing the clarity of still photos. Another feature is the AI script generator, similar to ChatGBT, which can create a script for you. Additionally, the software has a text-to-speech feature, allowing you to generate AI voiceovers directly in the software. There are many other AI tools available as well. I recommend giving it a try by starting with a free trial. And in this video, I showed you how to create viral YouTube shorts using Wondershare UniConverter. Let me know if you have any questions.